What's good everyone, Aggie Coach here. Alright guys, so we are talking about the zone passing system, the new Fat 8 zone passing system, the alternate passing system for the Fat 8 rule system. Alright, so uh, this video is going to be about route running. I keep getting a lot of questions about comeback routes, curl routes, hitch routes, screen passes, and the like, right? So I'm going to do a quick video here and just kind of show you guys how these things work. Now, um, you have to actually, uh, this system was designed to work within the Fat 8 rules, right? And the Fat 8 system is a multi-stop system. And I'm going to say this to you guys right now. You are limited by your own imagination, right? The only thing is do not do things that are unnatural. To actual football okay so anything that you can see in terms of the way uh, an offense actually functions and the way a defense actually functions you can do using this passing system and using the fed eight rule system right you absolutely can do it as long as you obey the laws rights and privileges afforded to both the offense and the defense without prejudice okay you have to call it right down the middle right so i'm going to just do some quick examples so i got uh coastal carolina and my north carolina a t aggies on the board and um coastal carolina has the ball at the 20 yard line uh, coastal carolina comes out in the shotgun okay all right the Tight end, I don't know if you noticed, but if you look at here at the bottom of the screen, the tight end is actually slotted. He's not on the line of scrimmage. Okay, so here are some of the things. Uh, guys, don't worry. I have a video coming as well. Um, just like I did the defensive series, I'm going to also do an offensive series so you can see how offenses also run because there are a lot of dynamics to this. But let's go ahead and get into this. Route running. This video is about route running. How does it work? Okay, so let's start with the main question that I keep getting. How you run a curl route? How you run a hitch route? How do you get that to work? Okay, now. Remember, I mentioned to you guys that your defenses, you're going to have to be scheming when you run your defenses. You can't bring everybody up to the line. In this case, I'm going to show you what happens when you do have everybody come forward with this passing system. So, all right. So, let's get started. So, we're going to take the snap. All right. Now, that's it. So, that's one. Okay, in the Fat 8 rule system, you only get three stops. So the ball is now in motion. Quarterback has the ball. Now you can direct your receivers to go wherever you want them to go. So let's say I'm going to have him go out. I'm going to have him go out. I'm going to do this quickly. He's going to pop the scene. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Let's see. Let's have him post. And we'll have him be our hitch man. Well, our curl man, so we'll have him go straight ahead. All right, now the defense gets to adjust to what they're seeing. They see the quarterback has the ball, so now the defense is going to start dropping back. So, let's see. He's going to turn and run with that receiver. He's going to bring pressure. He's going to take man out the backfield. Okay, he sees the guy coming across the middle, so we're going to have him back. We're going to have him backpedal. He sees that coming. He's going to pick up the tight end. Okay. He's got man out the backfield. He's over top. Okay. And he's going to backpedal. Okay. Easy, easy, easy. All right. This is raw, guys. I'm running this raw. I'm just running it as is. I'm not stopping the film. All right. Here we go. <laughs> running our routes. There we go. All right. Now. Let's look at what we got. Arthur Conley was bringing pressure, and he is playing on the wrong side of the field. Our offensive line is doing a good job blocking. Now, notice that that cornerback has this receiver covered. The uh, middle linebacker came and picked up the tight end. We got back out the backfield right here, so we could throw our screen pass if we want to throw our screen pass. And look at this. We have a nice shot right here going across the middle. But you guys say you want to do a hitch route, right? Or you want to do a curl route or a screen pass. 
Okay, so let's do a comeback right here. So since that's the main question that I keep getting, question is, is he beyond 11 yards, zero to 11 yards, right? So now you need to look and see, did he go beyond 11 yards? Absolutely, he's at 13 yards, okay? So he is beyond 11 yards, but because it is going to be a comeback route, because he's doing a curl route, He's going to be returning to the quarterback, so he's going to use the three-inch halo, okay? So, we're going to look. We do have overlapping fields of reaction zones here, but we are going to be placing the ball outside of his reaction zone from the perspective of the quarterback. So, the quarterback is looking this way, and he's throwing this way. So, he's going to throw the ball right here, okay? Okay? He's going to throw the ball this way. All you're going to do is pivot him to do his curl route, to do his comeback. But at the same time, you're going to take everyone else who sees that ball coming, and you're going to pivot them around. Safety is over top. We're going to keep him in the same position. Okay? Okay. That's the end of that. See how easy that is? Now you just run it. All right? Let's run it. <laughs> Completed pass. Okay? He made contact with the ball. All right. That's completed completed pass. Now you can pivot him to run up field. You pivot him around to run up field. Then the defenders get to respond to what they're seeing. Is that simple? Taken down. Okay. 11 yard gain. First down. That's how you do that, guys. It's that simple. And you do that for everything. Right? You do it for everything. You guys want me to run one more? So I'll run one more. I'm going to set it up for you real quick. I'll run one more. Right? Let's keep it in the series. Okay. That was a 13 yard gain. All right. Let's run one more. Just so you can see how it works. I'm going to do this quickly. I'm doing this raw, guys. I'm not I'm not cutting the film, right? I'm not going to cut the tape. I just want you guys to see how easy this is. Easy, easy, easy. Ball is spotted at the 32. All right? Let's get these guys set. Now, there's a lot more that we can actually do with the offense um, in terms of running audibles and, um, you know, different kinds of formations, doing motion, uh, all that kind of stuff. We have we have all of those options and the defense can respond. But I'm not going to I'm not going to get into all of that in this video. Not going to get into that in this video um, simply because I have a series coming that's going to address that. Okay. Just remember in this system, depending on how you do your setup, you always want your secondary uh, dropping back into coverage. Okay. We're all set. All right, here we go. Okay, so same thing. This time I'm going to motion, so my tight end is going to motion over to the opposite side. Okay, so Arthur Conley sees him coming. This is Arthur Conley right here. Okay, we're going to take the snap. Ball is now in motion. Quarterback has the ball. Pressure's coming off the corner. Do a little play action this time. We'll have him run across the quarterback. Okay. He's gonna block down because he cannot get cannot get caught here. Okay. They're gonna drop back. He's dropping back. He's playing over top. 
He's playing over top. All right, run the route. Oh, nice block. And look at that. Set up for that screen pass. Look at that set up for that screen pass right there. That's nice. That's nice. So the quarterback has the option of throwing this screen pass right here, right? Or throwing it across the middle to the tight end. So you guys see that, right? So this is what I'm saying. It really, really does open things up. But since we're not so concerned about throwing the deep balls downfield, you guys seem to be more concerned about the short routes. So let's see what happens. So now let's do the screen pass. We already did a curl. You guys know the curl and the hitch works the same way. We can do an out over here too. We can have him come you know, over here for the out route. We have so many options. But let's do this screen since you guys are concerned about the short game. So let's do this screen. All right. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to check. In this case, he's pretty wide open. Um, there are no overlapping fields or reaction areas. So this should be fairly easy for him to catch. So now the question is, where is the quarterback going to throw the ball? So once again, we're looking from the perspective of the quarterback. Where does he want to throw it? Does he want the receiver to look over his right shoulder to catch over here? Or does he want to lead him to the inside to catch over here? I'm going to say for safety purposes, uh, we're going to put this thing over his right shoulder. Okay? So it's going to look like this. So the quarterback is going to throw the ball. Quarterback is going to throw the ball like this because it's a screen, right? So as long as it's outside, as long as it's outside, right? So it's outside of his reaction zone. So he's going to just loft it over his head just a little. Okay. Quarterback is going to just toss it over his head just a little. Now the defense sees what's happening. So the defense now gets to respond. They're all paying attention. So they see that ball go up in the air. Okay. So everybody sees it. So we, I'm going to just pivot the quarterback just so you can see. So you guys can kind of envision the quarterback throwing that ball just like this. Okay. Oh, almost picked off. I have to go back and look at that again. Um, that would actually be a pass interference. Uh, that would be a pass interference, I think, because he actually hit the receiver. That's a call that we have to make. So something like that would be an instant replay, right? You want to go back and see because it's a possibility that the defender might have gotten to the ball before the receiver. So those kinds of things, this is what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> anything can happen. You know, anything can happen. You, you never know what's going to happen. And this is like one of those things that, you know, we play over and over again. It looked like that safety might have jumped that route. But um, he also collided with the receiver. And he might have prevented the receiver from actually making the catch. Uh, so that could be um, uh, pass interference. And more than likely, that's what the call is. Pass interference on that call. But, this, guys, this is how it's done. And this is so much fun. Um, this is how it's done. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, I think I think that is going to be a defensive pass interference. I don't know. You guys tell me. What's the call? What's the call? What did you see? You tell me. It's a good discussion point. What's the call here? Incomplete pass, pass interference, or interception on the defense? What's the call, guys? How would you call that? Peace.